I'm super excited. I'm really intrigued to see how this goes, too, because it's kind of wild. Ryan Thompson was among the first to sign up to use the new autonomous vehicle service Drive AI launches today in Frisco, Texas. His first ride started right, by pushing that green button. You anxious at all? A little. <laughs> this is something that you hear about on, you know, on the news or online or whatever, but you don't really get a chance to actually experience yourself. The vans will operate in autonomous mode on a nearly two mile route with a safety driver on board, going between a giant office park with 10,000 workers and a nearby dining and entertainment complex. Over the next six months, the company plans to add more destinations and phase out that safety driver. What we're trying to do is provide uh, transportation solutions for people between work, play, and stay. That sort of last mile issue. Right. Drive AI joins Waymo, owned by Google's parent company, in running self-driving vehicles with passengers. Uber stopped its passenger tests after its crash in March killed a pedestrian. So you feel like that type of accident is an avoidable accident? It is something that we have absolutely designed around. Um, and then we are taking every precaution that we can to make sure that type of incident doesn't happen. The vans have radar on the grill, infrared LIDAR sensors, and 10 cameras on the roof to give them a 360-degree view of the road. They also feature screens on their sides, front and rear, alerting pedestrians and drivers to what the driverless car is doing. Inside, this screen shows passengers what the car sees. Do you have any safety concerns with this launching? We feel very confident in its ability to be safe in our community and safer than the human driver would be. Frisco Mayor Jeff Cheney. I feel strongly that this is very much a, a test and to get public acceptance, but when we come back and look at Frisco five years from now and certainly ten years from now, it will be all over our roads. Testing self-driving cars on public roads remains controversial as federal regulations are stalled on Capitol Hill and recent polls show nearly 70 percent of Americans are uncomfortable with sharing the road with an autonomous vehicle. Only 21 percent say they'd be likely to ride in one. They should be using proving grounds right now. It's simply too dangerous. Automotive News Editor-in-Chief Keith Crane. Proving grounds are the place to test unproven technology. There's a lot of great stuff in the autonomous vehicle, but we don't know if they work yet. It's trippy to be in the car that's driving itself. It's it? very trippy. Ryan Thompson went from skeptic to super fan in about two miles. Like I would hop in this without a driver in a heartbeat. I'm that confident, and we've been doing this for a couple minutes. After the six-month pilot, if all goes well, the plan is to expand the service to more destinations here in town and make it a permanent part of the landscape here in Frisco. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Frisco, Texas.